in this particular video. I'm gonna be focusing in on the 10 most common questions of ISO 27001. Who needs ISO 27001? I think um, my answer to that question is right now, because cybersecurity is such an important issue, I can't think of a company or organization that shouldn't have or doesn't have or doesn't need a information security management system. Now, I do know that in the past people will say, but my organization is really small and you know this thing is really big. It's like, well, you know, it's kind of like where you need to think about what the risks are. What risk are you taking by not locking the doors to your house? And so I think that the, it's a, there, I draw a lot of similarities to, you know, how confident are you where you are to live and where you live as to not locking the front door of your house or not locking your car at any point in time. Doesn't matter where your organization goes, is it locked? And I think that, um, you know, who can get in and who can get out? And if, if it's okay, there's nothing really in there that's important and people can come and go as they want, then you really want to start to think, okay, well, at where's, where's the lock? You know, do you have a lock on your bank account? Do you have a username and password on your bank account and you use online banking? So, you know, it really comes down to what can be stolen from you, what can be taken from you, what can people come in and damage and come in and make a mess? Um, and so, you know, it's not always vexatious. The activities that, uh, happen are not always vex vexatious. I was traveling in Alaska uh, a number of years ago and a bear got into a shop and took all the t-shirts off the shelves and made a nest inside a shop during winter and it was hibernating inside the shop. The shop was closed for a couple of months and so um, the bear got in because the door wasn't locked. It lit the bear literally walked up, turned the doorknob, pushed open the door because it was in the boonies in Alaska. Uh, the door wasn't locked, didn't force its way in. Uh, just walked in the door, um, literally shut the door and made a nest uh, in all the t-shirts. Now, you know, in terms of that wasn't somebody being vexatious, nothing was stolen. Um, you know, there was a sale after that event, all the t-shirts were being promoted as, you know, their second hand, barely worn, um, I think was, uh, you know, that's obviously entertaining. Um, but, you know, when you think about your information security information that you've got, someone could just accidentally wander in and corrupt all of your data. So it's about thinking about what, you know, what needs to be protected, who can access it, where can they access it, how do we stop people that, sh that shouldn't access it, um, accessing it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps. So I think who needs 27001? Right now, I think, I think all organizations should be making an attempt to understand this framework and think about how this framework applies to their business plan.